These days, Android phones come and go faster than my mood swings. I'll show you how to take an old Android phone that you don't use anymore and turn it into a Chromecast or Android TV device. Hey everyone, it's me, Brittany. Uh, don't you hate it when you're hanging out with friends and they want to watch Netflix, but you don't have Android TV or Chromecast or anything? And so they're like, well, we're going to leave, dude. Plus you make us like really uncomfortable. Uh, but I'm going to show you how you can avoid that by turning an old Android device into a do-it-yourself Chromecast or Android TV. I'll show you how. Let's start out by getting an MLH adapter from Amazon for about 7 bucks. This will allow you to connect your Android phone to your TV via HDMI. But if you don't like to wait, you can always get them at Best Buy, or if you live in Delta Junction, Alaska, you can get them at Busy Bee Office Supply. Then just connect your phone to your TV using your MLH adapter, and you're ready to move on to the next step. Okay, so you've got it hooked up to your TV, and you're mirroring the screen on your phone to your TV. And that's kind of the easy part. But what you want to do to get the full Android TV experience is have a launcher that's similar to the default Android TV launcher. So I'll show you a few of the best options that you have. When it comes to options for Android TV style launchers, some of the best options are TV launcher if you just want a smooth and simple experience. You've also got top TV launcher which is going to have tons of customization options so you can tweak everything exactly how you like it. And then you've got Simple TV Launcher, which is going to be great for those of you that are fans of the traditional app drawer. But for now, we're going to go with my personal favorite, which is the Unwind Launcher for TV Beta. This launcher allows you to pin your favorite apps to your home screen. It'll also recommend TV shows and movies every day, just like the standard Android TV Launcher. It's also designed to be used with a standard remote with a directional pad, which makes it perfect for navigating from your couch. Okay, so you've got your phone hooked up to your TV and you've got a custom launcher on there. Great, but you don't want to have to get up off of the couch to go navigate your phone every single time you want to use it. So what we're going to use is another Android device as a remote to control your do-it-yourself Chromecast slash Android TV thing. I wish the remote could control real life so I could fast forward through all the bad parts. So the app we're going to use to get your remote set up is called Tablet Remote. This will allow you to control one Android device with another. So go ahead and install this on your makeshift Android TV device, and then also install it on the device that you're going to be using as a remote. Then you'll be able to connect the two through Wi-Fi. Now you can easily navigate through Netflix, YouTube, Hulu, and all of your other favorite Android TV applications. Overall, the end result looks really good, and it's just as effective as getting a Chromecast or an Android TV. So that's it. Great job. You've created your own do-it-yourself smart TV. Like my dad used to always say, if you could just be smarter. But anyways, uh, you guys, if you like this video, leave a thumbs up down below, and you can subscribe to our channel. But here's the thing, with old Android phones, there are so many different things you can put them to use for. And we have a bunch of different examples in the XDA forum called Repurposing Android. I'll leave the link in the description down below, as well as the links to all of the apps and things that you'll need to get this project going for yourself. And then you'll be... Oh, okay, yeah.